a gold medal in Asian Athletics Championship yesterday, a gold medal in Asian Wrestling Championship today. COSA, International Year of Indigenous Languages. These are the things that we're going to discuss today. Good morning to everyone. Welcome to Morning Tales. My name is Anu Chindal and today we are going to talk about these all and much more important things which happened yesterday and today. So starting with the first question, when is World Malaria Day observed? A very easy question connected with the day today. So you can easily answer it. Well, the answer has to be, I'm not going to even ask you. The answer has to be uh, D, April 25th. Some small facts about malaria. Did you know that Sub-Saharan Africa continues to carry a disproportionately high share of global malaria burden, which is as high as 92% or about 90% of malaria and also about 90 to 95% of malarial deaths. So high burden of malaria as well as high burden of malarial deaths. India has very low proportion when it comes to malaria, which is a good thing. About 4% of global burden of malaria lies on India. According to the World Malaria Report 2018, about 219 million cases of malaria were reported in the year 2017, which is a little higher than 217 million in 2016, but much lesser than 239 million in 2010. That means the global burden is reducing. Malaria is not transmitted from man to man. Malaria is transmitted uh, from the mosquitoes to man by a female Anopheles mosquito. This, uh, this particular year, the year 2019, World Malaria Day coincides with the 70th anniversary of World Health Organization. There are a lot of important things that we can talk about malaria when it comes to malaria. It's a very old disease and uh, very widespread in the entire world, but not very important for the examination point of view. So let's jump to the second question. This one is very important. High chances of it being asked in the examination this year. Recently, high level anti hijack panel has been revamped to form COSA. What does A in COSA stand for? In fact, I would like to ask you, what is the full form of COSA? Please pro provide your answers in the comment section below and also provide your answers to what does A stand for in COSA? Well, A is A stands for aircraft in COSA. It's a high level anti hijack uh, panel, aircraft hijack panel, which was created after the or as per the recommendations of Cargill Review Committee, which was held in 1999 or created in 1999. And a lot of uh, changes have now been made in this anti hijack panel with uh, the National Security Advisor also becoming a part of this particular committee. And uh, the Cabinet Secretary will stay the head of the committee. Okay, but uh, the National Security Advisor who is Ajit Doval at present, will also be a part of this committee from now on. The full form of COSA, as I had asked you, is Committee of Secretaries on Aircraft Hijack. This is something that can be asked in the examination. Another question that can be asked is, who is the head of National Security Advisory or who is the National Security Advisor head presently? The head of COSA is going to be or is going to remain the cabinet secretary who is PK Sena presently. So if uh, during the examination, the CAPSEC has not changed the answer, the question can be in the form of who is the present cabinet secretary or who is the present head of COSA, which will be PK Sena or cabinet secretary, depending on the options that you will be given. So these are the important things that I thought we would discuss uh, related to this particular question. Let's move on to the next question. With which of the following Department of Posts has partnered with to implement core system integration program? Now, core system integration program does not have to do anything with the uh, core solution of banking. It is simply an ERP system, system which is created to uh, connect various branches, various postal branches around the country. Department of Post has partnered with uh, TCS in order to create a core system integration program. So the answer is D, TCS. It's a very factual question. So it's better that we just mug it up. We don't try, try and get into a lot of details because they are not important. 
okay uh, the purpose is to connect 150000 post offices making it the largest distributed e postal network in the entire country the next question which year has been declared as the international year of indigenous languages a very important question very high chances of this being asked in the examination the answer very obvious is uh, obviously the year 2019 so this is the first time that an international year of international indigenous languages sorry has been declared by united nations specifically under unesco and the purpose of this particular uh, international year is to recognize the importance of indigenous languages you might be confused or you might be thinking what exactly is the meaning of indigenous languages well indigenous language is a language which belongs to a certain region uh, which uh, is normally not found outside that that region or uh, which is specific to a particular region and uh, a uh, lot of languages let's say hindi is indigenous to a certain part of the country not indigenous to another part of the country so uh, one indigenous language can also be non indigenous in another part of the world but every language has some indigenous uh, variety sub indigeneity which needs to be promoted and which needs to be preserved now what are the importances connected with indigenous languages why is the un talking about indigenous languages this you can read and you can understand through these pictures that i have created here knowledge what does it mean well every language has its own set of writings every language has its own set of preachings own set of knowledges and those uh, set sets of knowledge can be unique systems which help us understand the world better for example if uh, the harappan civilization needs to be broken down or needs to be understood you, you need to understand the language that uh, uh, was used at, at that point of time but only because we have not been able to decipher the language used in harappan civilization during the time of ancient india we have not been able to understand the civilization completely and we have not been able to understand the way people lived at that point of time secondly peace when we can understand another person's language when we can understand uh, uh, how the person next to you who is indigenous to a certain part of the world thinks only then can we appreciate the idea of peace because communication is yes uh, the main mode of creating and maintaining peace rights communication is an important part of entire set of rights of individuals assume that from tomorrow nobody cares about the way you speak or what you speak or the language that you speak in and let's say everybody starts forcing you to speak in another language or to uh, you know learn another language and forget your own language at all well that will be a gross violation of your rights inclusion only when we can understand other people can we include or can we understand their needs and their demands and therefore social inclusion Uh, is uh, a part of understanding of another person's language and diversity very well understood there are so many indigenous languages in the entire world in india itself there are more than 90000 more than 19000 languages or dialects which are indigenous to different tribes to different cultures to different kinds of uh, regions and therefore it tells us that how diverse a particular nation or how diverse the entire world is unesco as i said is the leading agency and the purpose of this international year is to raise awareness of the crucial role that languages play in people's daily lives when it comes to india hindi is the most spoken language i want you to remember and understand that hindi is not the national language there is no national language in india in fact hindi has been recognized as one of the official languages not the only official language 43.63% of the entire country speaks hindi as per 2011 census and followed by bengali and not english so that's important let's come to the last question which is one of the most important yesterday i told you about asian athletics championship which was uh, won by gomathi in uh, 800 meters which was a very good video i hope you have seen that video gomathi marimuthu 
who came from the back almost six position and she backed goal towards the end that was a very exciting uh, run that i got to see today's question is who won the gold medal in 65 kg freestyle men's category of asian wrestling championship 2019 well another question that i did not ask you yesterday was where is asian athletics championship being held in 2019 the answer is doha qatar today's question that i'm going to ask you and i want to answer it in the comment section below is where is asian wrestling championships being championship being held is it being held in doha or is it being held in any other part of the world the answer to this question well is d bajrang punia bajrang punia has won gold in 65 kg freestyle men's category in asian wrestling championship 2019 Well that's all for today's morning tales I hope you liked it if you did subscribe to my channel and also do not forget to share this video with with uh, as many people as you can on social media you can also share it on your timeline whether it's instagram whether it's facebook and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get regular notifications about these morning tales on a regular basis all the very best take care